You have touched my prophet and harm my people. Jesus. You have denounced my works and the works of the Holy Spirit. You have called my prophet a ritualist. Because of this, heaven has been shut for you. The air, this air you breathe is cursed for you. The water is cursed for you. The land is cursed for you. And the product of the land will be bitter in your mouth. He was angry. During the December 2023 crossover night service, Senior Evangelist Terence delivered a series of prophecies to the congregants, and amongst the striking prophecies that he gave was the prophecy about an imminent attack on the body of Christ that will greatly weaken the faith of many Christians. Senior Evangelist Terence further demystified the prophecy as he reveals that the year 2024 would be a tough year as allegations would be cooked up against the great men of God coupled with compelling videos that will cause serious confusion as the faith of many will fall. Let's listen to the prophecy that he gave during the crossover night service. So this year of 2024 that is coming, it will be a tough year. It will be a very tough year. The body of Christ will be greatly attacked. They will bring evidence against great men of God, many. They will just be exposed. Most will not be true. It's just to scatter. This one said this, this one did this. They will bring videos. There will be serious confusion. The faith of many will fall. The faith of many will fall because you begin to see Satan more practical. He will be more practical. It means you will see him more. There will be serious confusion. The head of the church fight. The church will be a mockery. What you are going to see, it will discourage many this particular year. The faith of many will just drop. The one thing I want you to know, no one is perfect. I keep telling you this. Even me standing here, I am not perfect. If you begin to worship me or begin to look at me as God, I will fail you. Hallelujah. So let the heart of the sheep go back to the Father. Are you hearing? Let your heart go back to your Maker because many things will discourage you. The men of God, you will carry your faith and put on, they will fail you. Yes, they will fail you. Barely seven days after senior evangelist Terence gave the prophecy, a world-renowned media organ, British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC, released a three-part documentary about Prophet T.B. Joshua on the 8th of January, 2024, in which some of the disgruntled ex-disciples of the Prophet related terrifying tales alleging that Prophet T.B. Joshua had committed serious human right abuses, including torture, rape, forced abortion. He was also accused of engaging in cover-ups, staged miracles, and manipulation. That happened over a period of 20 years. The first part of the documentary, which was released on January 8, 2024, quickly went viral and greatly weakened the faith of many gullible Christians as prophesied by senior evangelist Terence during the crossover night. Let's watch an excerpt of the documentary. The miracles he did, the whole thing is stage managed and faked. It's faked. You are healed. I supervise everything for years. I know everything that happens. To be candid, I've never seen any crippled person that was healed in synagogue church. T.B. Joshua was the one who masterminded the manipulation from the beginning to the end. They give them drugs to get, you know, speedy recovery. I was there almost 14 years of my life. 
all this beating, sexual abuse, it was too much. After the prophecy came to pass, senior evangelist Terence reminded the congregants about the prophecy that he gave during the crossover night service held on the 31st of December 2023, and also conveyed a stern message from God to the ex-disciples of Prophet T.B. Joshua, who made false accusations against him in the viral BBC documentary. Let's listen to God's message to the accusers of Prophet T.B. Joshua. God bless us. Remember, during the crossover, I said something. What you saw on media, accusation and confusion. You see that I was one of the few that God showed everything that will happen to senior prophet T.B. Joshua and what will be coming out. I mean, you saw it pure. Everything I say, just saw it how it happened. Who was there during the crossover? Yes, sir. Who heard me say this word? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You saw it happening? Yes, sir. God has spoken again. Amen. 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 God has spoken again. Yes. God has spoken again. So, during that crossover, as God spoke, the prophecies of the year. I told you that there will be serious attack in the body of Christ. That great men of God will be attacked. Yes, sir. That they will bring evidence, videos to talk about great men of God. Yes, sir. That is what that you heard the word purely, right? Yes, sir. That they will be accused. Yes. And most of the things that they will say on the video will not be true. true. You heard it during the cross of our right? Yes, yes sir. If you didn't hear it, that, that would have um, triggered your faith. But I spoke it. It's on air. Now God has spoken again. Amen. God has spoken again. Amen. Mm -hmm. God has spoken again. You will also see this one. You will also see this one coming to pass. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I had a revelation from God. I saw heaven very, very angry. I saw the eyes of the Lord was like fire. When he speaks, it was like flames of fire. He was angry. I mean, even me who had the revelation, I was frightened. As I'm talking to you now, passing the revelation, I am talking with you with trembling. It's a frightening one. I want to talk according to how the Lord spoke to the accusers of TB Joshua. You have touched my prophet and harmed my people. You have denounced my works and the works of the Holy Spirit. You have called my prophet a ritualist. Because of these, heaven has been shut for you. The air, this air you breathe, is cursed for you. The water is cursed for you. The land is cursed for you. And the product of the land will be bitter in your mouth. It's a curse that I don't know whether it can be broken. Those were the words from God. As a prophet of God, I will say what I will leave to see accomplished. So let us be praying. When I saw this, my heart bleeds. My heart bleeds so much. If I am a prophet of God and God has spoken to me, you will see all these things I have said come to pass. God will break, God will strike them and bring them down to their knees. Amen. 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 What was their motive of speaking? It was to destroy the prophet. Not only they were destroying and sinning against the Holy Spirit. That is why we need to be careful. Out of greed, greed, bitterness, they spoke. And the fight is not all. 
anything will still be exposed. Hallelujah. Yes. yes, many things will still be coming out. But all these people, you will see them bring down to their knees. They will come down. There are people you cannot change. There are people you cannot change. No matter who you are, you cannot change who they are. They are bound for destruction. Wherever they step, destruction follows them. Even with all the miracle that uh, this man, the Judas Iscariot saw, he saw Jesus Christ walking on water. He saw Jesus Christ doing this, doing that. It would have brought some fear on him. But he didn't bring fear. He didn't bring fear on him. When Peter was standing and seeing the Savior, the Son of God, Judas Iscariot was looking at Jesus and seeing money. Because that is the only thing he sees. He was looking at Jesus and seeing money. There are people you cannot just change. That is who they are. It was better you were not born. It was better you were not born. I want to talk to you. You, uh, whoever, this Agamo and the others. You were the same person who had revelation about senior prophet TV. I'm speaking now. If you hear my voice, you will know that this voice is from God. The same you, you had revelation about TB Joshua when you were still with him. You stood and told him your revelations, not once. And all of you, you stood and criticized him and called him rituals. You all had revelation. Were this revelation from, from, this, from Satan? This to confirm to you, I speak from the mouth of God. Remember all those revelations, all the works and miracles. You say that, no, it was all fake. You denounce the works of the Holy Spirit. That is your judgment. By your own mouth, you pronounce judgment over yourself. Just like what the, the Lord said, I repeat. Heaven is short for you. The air is cursed for you. The water is cursed for you. The land is cursed for you. And the fruit of the land will be bitter in your mouth. This is the word from God. My heart bleeds so, so much. God will prove to the world that T.B. Joshua is his prophet. Amen. 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 He will prove it. Amen. God will prove to the world that T.B. Joshua was his prophet to bring revival. He will prove it. If I am called by God, standing on this altar, you will see all these things come to pass. Amen. I am not a social media prophet. I don't talk what God has not spoken. You will see all these things coming to pass. You will see all these people being exposed. They will be exposed all. Their works will be exposed. Amen. This is the plan of Satan. What you have seen happen to senior prophet T.B. Joshua, this is the word from God. It will happen to every great minister of God. Remember I said it during the crossover that the attack is on the body of Christ. The attack is for the body of Christ. It's not on prophet T.B. Joshua alone. The attack is on the body of Christ, not on Prophet T.B. Joshua alone. Different ministers, they will pay every money to bring them down and to bring Christianity down. They will do anything. So I say the attack is not done. It will move from leaders to leaders and church to church. You will see videos coming out against great prophets of God. I said it right? Yes, sir. You will see videos, they will bring out evidence but their work is to destroy the body of Christ. If you have watched my video and watched what everything I've said, then you need to understand what I'm saying now to fulfill all these things. Their attack is against the body of Christ because they want to implement their own evil ways. So they need to kill the faith of the, the people by attacking the leaders, those who carry great position. Because the Antichrist is coming. They need to make the ground soft with Antichrist people prince. So they are already bringing their own Antichrist, like these people that went down and were standing and accusing this, accusing that. Only you, your heart knows. If you call him a ritual, I will stand and watch between you and him who is speaking the truth. If my words are from God, I will stand and watch 
this very video, we'll put it, if I am from God, we'll all, all watch it and we'll see who is speaking the truth, who is from God and who is not from God. We'll see it. the judgment, you will stand and judge. This video will be on air <laughs> so that the world will see. Now some news coming out of Nigeria in the last One of the hour. worst disasters on the African continent in recent memory. Numbers vary. The death toll has now risen to 80. What really happened at the synagogue church of all nations? To the victim in the documentary who suffered loss, please don't allow your heart to be heavy and understand the prophet's voice. He sent me these messages. It says, if you focus on what you have lost, you might lose everything. Now he's threatening me that my whole family will go down the same way my daughter went down. If you focus on what you have lost, you may lose what you have. You can't, what the prophet is saying, you can't look both in front and back at the same time. That is the world. That is what the prophet means. If you focus on what you have lost, you may lose even what is in your hands. That is what the prophet meant. So, be strong. Be strong. Be strong. He was never remorseful or pitiful for these people. He could see a man die. I never feel it. Talking about senior prophet T.B. Joshua, let me talk about him. According to how God showed me everything. I don't talk because I've seen the world talk or because mm -mm, I speak when the Holy Spirit pushes me to talk. Senior prophet T.B. Joshua was not a perfect human being. Are you hearing? Senior prophet T.B. Joshua was not a perfect human being but he was anointed by God yes they are not saying that whatever they accused him he did it but I am telling you that he was not perfect quote me any go and hear from God if you if you have your own revelation this is what I have and this is what I'm giving CB Joshua was not perfect are you hearing yes, sir. even Apostle Paul you know was not perfect. He had a thorn on his flesh given to him by God. Hear what the Bible says. A messenger of Satan was assigned by, who, by God to give him a thorn on his flesh. Apostle Paul stood. What he wants to do, he doesn't do. What he doesn't want to do, he, find, he finds himself doing it. That means sin was happening. That means what? Seen what's happening. It's for you to know that there is no perfect man of God. Even me standing here, I am not perfect. So for you now, what do you you now the people who are following me? What do you need to do? What do you need to do? You need to be praying for me. Yes, sir. While listening to me, also trying to have the Holy Spirit to descend. That is the most thing you need to have. Every Christian around the world, when you don't have the Holy Spirit, social media will be your spirit to lead you. New station will be your spirit to lead you. The, the amount of people, if you want to know a prophet, you must also have the spirit of a prophet. That is the Holy Spirit. Tim Joshua was not a perfect person. No, he was not perfect. He had his own weakness. Like me standing here. I am not perfect. Nobody is perfect. Go and look at even the prophets of old. No one of them was were perfect. Yes, sir. Even Moses. You are you talking about Moses? Mo was Moses perfect? Yes, sir. Moses was not perfect. He had his own problem. Moses was the same person who stood and said, "You people should not marry from other tribes because when you do that, you will fall out from your God. You will not be able." But he was the same one who went and married from other tribes, yes, and his, his fellow colleagues started saying that, "Ah." Because you do that, you are not from God, you are not this, you are not a prophet, you think you are the only one, and God has to curse them. Who are you to stand and talk like this to my prophet? Moses has seen my form, who are you? 
That is one. David himself, just imagine you were in those days. God will anoint David and call David a man after his own heart. And then you begin to see David had a serious problem, a serious affliction. David had a thorn on his flesh. He loved women so much. That was a thorn given to him. That was a thorn on his flesh. David committed adultery. He committed murder. But still yet, God loved him and still called him my chosen one. If he was today, will you do you think that you you will welcome that as a you will welcome that person as a prophet? No, God doesn't see the way man sees. If you choose to use this your physical eyes to see a man, you will fail. Even you, you say you are a Christian. The day you confess Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, the day I say, did that um, temptation, that thing that maybe you are a, 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 you drink alcohol, did that alcohol thing leave you? No. That actually counts, right? You to but your ability to say no to alcohol, that is what makes you a Christian. It doesn't mean that it should not come. It should come. It doesn't mean that when God takes you, pick you, you go and pick a prophet from a from a nightclub and bring him. You don't. You will see how that urge to to do these things. You will see how that urge to do that. You will see how that urge to do this. But his ability to say no is what makes him a Christian. He may even fall sometimes, but his relationship with God stays. They are, his communion and fellowship with God can be broken, but relationship with God stands. Like you, sometimes you will fall sometimes. Apostle Paul fell sometimes. He find himself doing what he was not supposed to do. But still, yet God said, my grace is sufficient for you because my power is made perfect in your weakness. Yes, sir. There is no perfect man of God. I want to speak to the world. There is no perfect prophet. You can... God is that kind of person who can pick you even from the streets. You can have your, you, you lost after women. God will still pick you and use you as a prophet. You can be a prophet and still be even smoke in this thing. And still be a smoker and still be a drunkard. If your own way of judging prophet is weakness, you have not seen deep enough. God judges according to the man's heart. God realized that T.B. Joshua was a man who can fulfill his purpose. He was a tough man. With wisdom. T.B. Joshua was a tough man with wisdom. So if you are bound, you want to see, you begin to see a prophet from a physical point of view, you will fail. When um, Judas Iscariot was looking at Jesus at a physical point of view, he failed. T.B. Joshua was not a perfect person. No, he was not perfect. But the accusers, by your own mouth, you have heard the judgment. If I am called by God, I will watch all these things coming to pass. Whatever that happens to senior prophet T.B. Joshua was destined by God. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever that happened to prophet T.B. Joshua, to senior prophet T.B. Joshua, was destined by God. His death was destined by God. If T.B. Joshua did not die, by his own hands, he would have destroyed what he would he has built. I speak in parable. He brought a mighty revival. He brought a mighty revival. God has to take him so that the revival will go far Amen. to the four corners of the world. Amen. When a father loves a child so much, he will have to give that child to you. It's a parable. When a father loves a child so much he will not want to he will not want to see that child go when the father loves a child so much he will want to keep that child he will want that child around him that is what was happening but doing that the mission of god will never be fulfilled are you hearing yes, his own very mission he would he will be fighting against it this is anointing this is power this is all these things he, he himself will kill it when God took him, he sent the evangelist away. Whatever Madame Evelyn Joshua was doing, it was arranged by God. Amen. You saw it as problem. It's not problem. It was destined by God. He wanted to remove this man, Chris. Chris will go to um, 
um, um, London, he will be more prophet in London. Um, Wiseman Daniel will go to whatever, wherever he's going, he will be more prophet. Racine will go wherever he's going, he will be more prophet. It will expand T.P. Joshua's. But if you begin to see it with a look, you will not, you will not see well. So, what power was doing? Power was trying to keep. But that was not God's mission for him. By his own very hand, he would have destroyed what he built. God had taken. So whatever people are seeing, like this, 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 no. From a deeper point of view, from God's point of view, it is his plan to carry the revival, to prepare his people. Many prophets, they will be raised. It will just be happening like that. It's God's plan. The harvest is not in the laborers of you. So, the Lord has to bring more laborers for the harvest. Hallelujah. Amen. That was God's agenda. Mother Evelyn Joshua took over the ministry. Has the ministry for? No. The ministry no. keeps going right. Yes. It keeps going stronger. New prophet has been raised. So after TV Joshua died, there were even ushers that did not even know themselves. They went outside because they never knew that they could succeed without TV Joshua. As they went outside, they started succeeding. Ah, I can do this. So what I was seeing, I, I can do this. Hey, I can do this. They started expanding. Hmm. God began to reveal to them the their own self. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. So, you will see them as ushers. But you start to begin to see them now as prophets. Amen. Some, they were singers. You will see them as prophets, as apostles, because they never knew themselves. It was destined by God. God had to take senior prophets in Joshua to expand the revival. Amen. He had to take the prophets in Joshua to expand the revival. Be strong. The word from God. Be strong, Mama Evelyn Joshua. You are a strong woman. Indeed. You are a strong woman. What she has taken, even when Tim Joshua was alive, and even after her passing away, she is strong. She is strong. Prophetess Angela, this is for you. Prophetess Angela from Squan, this is for you. Nothing has been heard from the fifth person whom TB Joshua double impacted with anointing before departing from the earth. That is Prophetess Angela Debre. Prophetess Angela was a very familiar face at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Lagos, Nigeria. She was one of TB Joshua's regular faces whenever he was touring abroad or holding crusades. Prophetess Angela grew among the ranks to be among the three women Prophet T.B. Joshua ordained as prophetesses before his departure. However, the anointed prophetess had to return back to the United States, her home country, after the leadership tussle and false accusation of stealing by a faction of squad. Prophetess Angela has been out of the public eye since July 2021 after the laying to rest of Prophet T.B. Joshua. We are praying for Prophetess Angela to come out of her self-isolation and release the double anointing given to her by Prophet T.B. Joshua to the millions of souls that need comforting in the Americas and the world at large. God bless her and grant her peace wherever she is. Cheer up, be strong. Whatever that happens, God is aware. I leave you there. Cheer up, be strong. Whatever that happens, God is aware. Go, don't stop. Deliver the demon possessed. Heal the sick. Pray for God's people. Bring them back to Christ. Don't stop. Whatever that has happened, God is aware. Amen. Prophetess Angela, rise up from where you are and start doing the work of your father. 
Don't allow your faith to be broken. If you hear this, you see this video. This is for you. Pray again for Africa. I don't know how I can call it. I don't know how I can call it. Is this um, I see a movement, or we can call it a strike. It will become it will rise up among just like the youth. They will be saying that religion, Christianity, is the cause of poverty in Africa. You will see that. Hallelujah. Amen. So I see a movement. They will want to destroy all their prophets. I mean the youth, it'll be like a movement. They will say religion, pastors, they are the ones destroying Africa. That we have mental slavery, colonial, what, 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 what. They will bring all these things. It will be like a movement. They will want to destroy the churches in Africa. Believing that we are, they are the cause of poverty and all these things. So, kingdom business will not be business as usual. Kingdom business will not be business as usual. Maybe you think you open a church, ask people to give money, they no. They will not do it will not happen again. If God calls you, he'll provide for you. Amen. If God has not called you, go and try, you will fail. You will not use church again to scam people. So that is the voice of God. All these things happening, but if I'm not called by God and I'm speaking my own words, then I will feel woefully. Watch the documentary I make during the crossover. I said it, that there will be serious confusion. The body of Christ will be attacked. Videos will come out against great men of God. They will accuse them, and most of their accusations will be false. Watch my. Watch the prophecy. TV Joshua, you see what happened with BBC and TV Joshua. Just seven days after that, the prophecy, you saw what happened. This one to have spoken will happen. You will see it happen. The Lord's judgment is coming. God bless you. Amen.